Some people are avoiding local parks after two shootings happened in under a week. One was at Franklin Park on Saturday. Just days before, there was another shooting at Dutch Jake's Park. Yeah, one person is dead and several others are injured. Police still haven't made any arrests, and now neighbors say they're worried about park safety. Our Esther Bauer is at Franklin Park with how this shooting is impacting safety in that area. Families are here at Franklin Park today, but Saturday's shooting is on their mind. They're worried about their children's safety and even more concerned about crime. It's just getting out of hand. A children's playground was plastered with crime tape on Saturday, leaving parents concerned. Honestly, it's terrifying. When you come here, you never know what's going to happen, and it's becoming more of a daily occurrence all around Spokane. Spokane is where Brianna Gallup grew up, but it isn't where she wants to raise her son because of the crime. If I'm leaving my family, I want to know that I'm going to be somewhere more safe off. It just seems like uh, we're just in a kind of a prison in our own house. Lee Howard is trapped and won't leave her yard anymore. She lives just across the street from Franklin and doesn't feel safe. I don't even feel secure to take my own dogs for a walk in the park which is real sad because you never know what you're going to meet. Spokane Community Oriented Policing Services or COPS says people avoiding the park can make crime even worse. Something bad will happen in a park and then the community gets gets a little shy and so they start backing away and then the bad guys start to own that park. Now COPS is encouraging neighbors to start park watches. By getting those neighbors together and talking and focused on a park, it makes a huge difference. Families are trying to make the most of summer fun at Frank but are still living in fear. Crime has taken over and it, it is sad. And this shooting here at Franklin is just one of two shootings at local parks in under a week. Neighbors tell us they just hope something is done soon to stop this violent crime. Reporting from Franklin Park tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.